hello welcome back and i hope you had a good day today if you're trading the markets or if you just had a good day overall going to work living your life not doing anything doing whatever you're doing you know but today the nasdaq really did like a just a z kind of movement i was able to trade that today so i don't really have any big news from the market today like nothing crazy happened just a small move today we kind of are in a range, but there were still opportunities. And I just wanted to share these with you. So let's get into it. So I'm going to show you two accounts today. And let me move this because I don't like the position of it. Uh, okay. Okay, there we go. So um, these were where the trades from one broker and i'm going to show you another broker as well right so the first trade at 9 32 so we look for the 9 30 candle here so the 9 30 candle and i have my shortcut bar here so 9 30 so at 9 30 i entered to the sell side 31108 right to the sell side so i'm guessing why did i enter that way to the sell side probably just a reversal trade i was looking for it was actually a good reversal trade it's just where my stop loss was it got taken out back here but you can see that I got that move to the downside or I could have gotten it but it's just that where I had my stop loss it was hit out within how long that's 12 minutes my stop loss got hit out within 12 minutes so I'm wondering why did I go against it because um, this is my indicator so I show this um, this is a uh, engulfing candle so we have an engulfing candle indicator and then I took it to the downside I think I was seeing something else I'm not sure why exactly I took it to the sell side but I definitely took it to the sell side off this indicator and this was the open the following candle could have taken me clean down because we're taking a candle from 311 down to 308 that would have been $300 right there clean but I lost $93 on that trade the second trade was to the buy side at well at 4 on the next candle at 9.46 so you see in the time here right should be there yeah so at 9.46 I'm entering to the buy side so I guess it went against me and I kind of flipped my position there 31205 I mean the thing about it is that I am knowing if I'm right or wrong very quickly so I kind of don't mind it and I can lower the amount I'm risking based on that and I got stopped out at 10.17 at 3.11.05. And when I took it here, it still had green. I'm thinking green on the MACD is why I'm thinking it would have continued. But this was a bad trade there because I had no indicator for me to hit this trade. For this, I had an indicator, I presume. No, that's not even... Let me see. Extended hours. Okay. So maybe on extended hours, I could see that it was bearish. So I was pushing it down for the bearish move. We had a big wick down. So that wick was... this. That wick was what tricked me into thinking we were going to the buy side. Let me show you how it looked today. So you see we're playing there, we're playing there. Oh, let's go back. 
let's go back look at look at how it was playing now so he had a big red and then it wicked up right ah uh, he had a kind of bearish engulfing so i had my trade here this is actually what it looked like in the day while i was about to take this trade so it's looking a little bullish there what happens next can it slow down okay that's when it really start to push against me next trade hit me out okay then it bounced off that level okay so yes this is actually great because i'm showing you how it looked in the day while i was trading it okay so let's even do something a little different so let's i don't want to delete anything let me show you we're gonna go back to here now and see what was happening prior to market open and you'll see why I had a sell position here. So at three, this would be 930. So at 311.08. Oh, I did that. Q, Q, Q. 311.08. And so you take the trade back to around here. Then the next candle would be me trying to trade to the downside. So the trade was essentially me at 9.30 seeing these candles form. And then you see you, I'm not even sure. Okay, so look at that. We have bearish MACD. So I'm thinking I'm seeing the bearish MACD before it start to reverse. And then when it reversed, so this tricked me the first time. You had a bearish MACD, so I entered to the bearish side. And then you had weakening on the MACD, so I entered on the bullish side. So using the MACD alone can kind of throw you off. So that's what I'm seeing from this, how I traded this today. So those were the two first positions. The third one was at 10.31 and can we pause this 10.31 so at 10.31 I entered at 3.10.56 oh no not 10.31 Ten thirty one. Yes. Next. Okay. So you see on the ten thirty candle, I entered to the sell side. Okay. Entered to the sell side as it started to break lower there at ten thirty one, and then at twelve twenty eight. Is when I close the position. So at 10.31 I entered there. Stop loss at 3.11.56. So it started to break lower. And you can see. Let me even bring you back to. Let me even bring you back to 10.30 there. So you had strength in the MACD. So this is before I entered the trade. So we have the MACD and then you have a huge push at 10.30. So at this point, the momentum was very strong to the sell side. That's interesting. Like I'm seeing that if you have a really big candle, it might have some continuation. So we have big push down on the MACD and also you have a tilting curve on the MACD line. The MACD EMA lines or signal line. One is an EMA line, one is a signal line. So we have it pushing down and I enter to the sell side here. And let's see where I exited. This was at 1228. So it'll be around. And I can actually add the line and, and it will come and meet it. 
so 12 under 12 15 candle so i got i closed the trade at 309 exactly 1215 wow so it really started to push down don't hit it yet don't hit it yet okay this is as it reversed so you see it kind of came down here hit that order block zone and bounce start to reverse so this is how i made the profit of 154 there so i just i think i set my stop loss and it came back hit it and i was just like yeah cool so the third trade now was at so 14 is 10 all right so add three so 126 126 so i hit a buy trade from here and i'm wondering why would i hit a buy trade from somewhere down here not even down there i hit a buy trade as it started to push up right so you can see weakening in the matdi the matdi kind of starting to tilt and then at say add what's that five to this say add five to ten two three so at three thirty six three thirty candle three thirty candle i close the trade at three oh nine two six so very interestingly i'm seeing that i'm probably able to play both sides like both trends and i'm seeing the trend so look see i'm not hit into the trade yet this is where i got hit into the trade this is where i took the trade with my stop loss at say i entered at 30877 my stop loss is at 30777 or even a little lower but that that's just a hundred dollar um stop loss essentially that's the amount i'm risking so it started to go up it started to break up i didn't see that strength from it honestly like started to push up a bit it started to go up this is where i had like i'm expecting it to continue and then i just set my stop loss because it seemed like it was starting to reverse here so that's where if you're greedy you can probably come right back down into um break even because let's check this out this is break even right you see i came right back into break even probably into a loss on the last candle if i didn't sell out there or have a stop loss there so those were the trades on this account we're gonna pull up another account where i traded the nasdaq 100 I like to use the Oanda one because it seems to give us some good good data. So I use the Oanda one. Okay, so I got it figured out. I figured out that the time 1630, it would reflect the same time that I entered the sell position on the QQQ. And that would have been at 930 thereabouts. So I entered to the sell side on the 930 candle. On the nasdaq 100 at 12787.9 and i got stopped out at 12 11.90 so it actually went a little bit above my stop loss but the thing about it was that it probably moved fast so fast to the upside that they didn't even have time to fill my order like that quick so this is where i got stopped out and then what happened with that trade was the twelve dollar loss total i mean that was a total risk i tried to keep the risk a bit tight and the thing about this was it was getting close to an order block and usually from these levels you get a push down even if it's temporary so we had um sell side and it's looking like what on the matd at 9 30 and 9 30 it was still kind of bearish but still weak sell pressure so even when i enter this was probably not fully formed we can bring it back to there and see 9 15 and then at 9 30 
we had a bearish engulfing candle form before it started to retract and become a, a bullish candle. So you see that? So 9.15. 9.15 actually flinched and did a bearish engulfing. Right? And then 9.30 started with a big push down. I entered to the sell side with that. I got stopped out at um you can see where I got stopped out between twelve seven eight seven and twelve eight one one nine. So the next one was to the buy side and this was on the nine thirty candle same way. I can do this as fast as it's going twelve eight two four point five so I entered to the sell side again. But what happened? Entered to the sell No, I entered to the buy side at here. Okay. So that's what, what messed me up. Me entering to the buy side here. And then I got stopped out. Entered to the buy side. On what candle was that? 16.44. So into to the buy side. There. That, I mean, that's a little bit of slippage, but I'll let it rock. I'll let it rock. Okay. I got stopped out at 12.787 at 10.15. So... This is where I got stopped out from this buy trade for $18. So I entered to the buy side here with a little slippage. That's why it's a little bit above. And then as the market started to push down, you can see I got hit out there. Okay. So you can see how it was actually forming. So I entered to the buy side with a weakening MACD. So that kind of faked me out. But you can even see the MACD curling to the point where I probably should have gotten out here. Seeing that the MACD is kind of perching over like that. So the trade after that was at 10.30. 10.30 I entered to the sell side. So I'm even setting it up before because I'm sure that... I can, it's going to fall into it. So, you know, I entered to the sell side here and then I close it out at 19. So 19 would be 12, 12, 43. Okay, let's go over there. 12, 43. So it's on the 12, 30. I Closed out this trade at 17.05. No, at 12.662. 12, wow. And this was done into an order block. So you'll see I entered the trade to the sell side here. You'll see what the candles were looking like while I was trading them. So you see it start to break down. You see that MACD push. You see strong MACD. So at this point, I'm just holding the position, holding the position. See the MACD, just more MACD pushing with the, with the lines fully turned over. So I push down, push down. I think it's when it start to reverse now is when I got hit out. Yeah, it start to reverse off this order block as well. You see, we never really got a push down after that. Before, let me get this now. So, at two, on the 2.15 candle now. 2.15. And the, so 2.15 plus 2. No. If 17 is, 
10. 20 is 1. 1, 28. So this candle entered to the buy side. So I had a bullish engulfing candle form. 12, 6, 8, 7. So this would have been a nice, nice upside trade. So we have a bullish engulfing form, right? You're bouncing off an order block. You have weakness in the MACD. So that's like literally three confluences there. And I'm paying attention to these. So you have three confluences there. Weakening MACD, bullish engulfing, order block, previous day low. So many things going in your favor. And I entered to the upside here. You wouldn't get a bullish engulfing until it really starts to engulf this. So uh, it's sticky like... I'm not sure if you'd get even a chance to push it back down here to, to get a better entry, really. That's what I'm saying. So you'd have had an entry here once a candle isn't too big. So, But these candles would have been wrong, looking at that. So I entered to the buy side here and then closed it out at 2 hours from there. So at 3... 37 and it's about the same time on the other chart at 12705 you can see i enter to the buy side there i'm thinking we're getting a nice reversal start the push up and it found this was weird rejected yeah. The funny thing about the rejection, you generally see these three lines strike plus a bearish engulfing and it just take you back down. Or after this, you have a push to the upside again. Depends how the market is feeling. But you see, I got stopped out on this candle at 337 and it matches up with this. So that was basically today. Um, let me see. Overall profitable on this but still below profit here $26 and yeah I think that's basically it hope you enjoy today's video guys I hope I know it's very long but I think it's gonna come in handy as I really show the strategy and we can make some use of it all right watch the video through subscribe like it Thank you if you actually watch this and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye-bye.